Well, hello everybody. This is a special harvest assembly brought to you from Co Farm. This is a beautiful place, a market garden just down the road from Cherry Hinton, just on the edge of Coldham's Common. And here, over the last few months, an actual miracle has taken place because land that was barren, just full of thistles and weeds, has been cultivated, nourished, and now it's a beautiful market garden. Um, and you can see, as we look around, all sorts of beautiful, beautiful plants, vegetables, corn, sunflowers, and an actual harvest going on right here as we uh, bring in the crops for this year. Lots of people are helping out, lots of volunteers are helping out making this um, really, really fertile and productive land. So welcome to Co Farm, welcome to our harvest assembly for 2020. So let's have a look, let's have a look at what's growing here at Co Farm. See if you can figure out what these vegetables are. Here we've got something big and orange and something tall and green. Just shout out the answers if you know what these vegetables are. Over there, we've got some, some very delicate looking plants and beyond it, something that's both red and green. So in this bed, there are lots of brassicas. That's a group of vegetables. Um, and there are lots of exotic types of brassica here. Can anyone tell what this is? Well, what about this one over here? There's a purpley one and there's a sort of silvery green. And here we've got some baby beans. I wonder how big they'll get. There's lots of beans being harvested right now at Co Farm. So I guess it's pretty easy to see what's growing in this field. Can't wait to see how these look when they're all carved up. Greetings, so you've been down to Co Farm and seen all the vegetables and things that are growing. So now time to sing about the cauliflowers, the cabbages, the strawberries, the beetroot, the onions, the apples, the plums and the broad beans. Cauliflowers fluffy, cabbages green, the strawberries sweeter than any I've seen. Beetroots purple and onions white All grow steadily day and night The apples are ripe, the plums are red The broad beans are sleeping in the blankety bed Blackberries coming up Blackberries are juicy and rhubarb sour Marrows are fattening hour by hour Gooseberries hairy and lettuces fat Radishes round, runner beans flat The apples are ripe, the plums are red The broad beans are sleeping in the blankety bed Carrots and turnips Orangey carrots, turnips cream A reddening tomatoes that used to be green Brown potatoes in little heaps Down in the darkness where the celery sleeps The apples are ripe, the plums are red The broad beans are sleeping in the blankety bed Excellent, well sung. Good morning. Uh, time for a Bible story. Bible story today is all about things that grow and the kingdom of heaven. Kingdom of heaven? What's that? Well, did you know that we in Cherry Hinton 
live in a kingdom? That's because Cherry Hinton is in Cambridge, which is in England, and England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland all belong to the kingdom. Do you know what that blank was? I'll say that sentence again and you can fill in the blank, OK? We live in Cherry Hinton, which is in Cambridge, which is in England, and along with Wales and Scotland and Northern Ireland, we all live in the kingdom. That's right. Kingdom, though? What's that word? Well, it's an old word about in the times past where one person, the king, told everybody what they could do. Now, it's not quite like that in this country. Although we do have a prime minister who tells us what we have to do, fortunately, though, he is elected by his party and that is elected by the grown-ups. And that, um, so we ask somebody to, uh, on our behalf, work out the laws. And this person who's our Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, whose surname is Johnson. Do you know what his first name is? The Prime Minister is called... Johnson, that's right. Boris. And he's been doing a lot of this recently because the government is giving out lots of new laws to make it safe uh, in this country from covid and uh, anyway, e enough of kingdom. So we've got a kingdom this time of God, which means basically of all that is good. Um, so we're going to find out about living in a place that's really good and we're going to find out what that's like. So Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is like a person who put good seed into the ground. And then, having put some manure around and some water, he then goes to sleep. That's a bit odd. Not a very exciting, adventurous story, this. He just goes to sleep. Isn't he meant to be doing something? Well, if you know anything about gardening, once you've put the seed in and the manure and the water, actually, there's nothing for you to do for a while. Is that the little seed grows all by itself, which is marvellous. And the kingdom of heaven is like that. All the good things happen. And that's marvellous. OK, but what happens when this person has gone to sleep now? Would you like this story to be full of just good things? Because would you like your life to be just full of good things? Uh, put your hand up if you'd like everything to be good. Now, I've put my hand up because I would really like that to be the case. And I think part of living in the kingdom of God is to hope that everything's going to be good. But good stories are real stories. They're ones that talk about the way life is and bad things happen. And that's what happens in this story, I'm afraid. Because while the person that put the good seed in the ground, a bad person comes along and puts some weeds in. I know, some stinging nettles. Yeah. Um, and they then start growing up. And the workers in the farm, after a while, say, Oi, wait a minute. I thought that we only had good seeds in here. There's some bad seeds. What are we going to do about this? And they go to the uh, person that's in charge of the farm and says, um, Shall we pull out all the weeds? And the person says, No. Now, that's very strange. Because... If you saw things that were bad, wouldn't you want to get rid of them? Well, this is a story about the kingdom of heaven. And that the way God looks at the world is there's a whole load of good 
and there's a whole load of bad things going on. And the problem is, is that uh, if you pull out all the bad stuff, you may pull out all the good stuff because the people that do good stuff are also quite capable of doing bad stuff. So if you pull out the bad stuff, you'll pull out most people. So the way the kingdom of heaven works is that the good stuff, good people, or the part of us that's good, lives alongside the bad stuff. And that's how God's kingdom works. It includes everybody, even when we don't behave particularly well. God doesn't get rid of us, which is marvellous, uh, that we know that there is a loving Heavenly Father that cares for all people. And it seems to me in this story, you need to remember that next time somebody's a bit nasty to you, because you need to look for what's good about them. And most of the time, you'll find something really, really good. I think that's a marvellous story. Thanks for listening. Bye. We're going to end our harvest assembly at St Andrew's Church. Today is Wednesday, and today is the day we open the doors of the church to anyone who needs some extra help with food. The St Andrew's Food Hub make sure that nobody in Cherry Hinton has to be hungry and there's all kinds of food ready to be served some fruit and some vegetables some tin groups tin foods some bread and right behind the baptismal font is hiding our fruit and all of this food is given by supermarkets who have extra, by people who have extra, and by farms who have extra, so that everyone can have enough. And I'm going to do one for someone who's housebound. Maybe if you can stick a cup in that one. Okay. At the beginning of our harvest assembly, we watched certain plants growing. We watched some things being harvested, and now here at the food hub, you can see some of those same vegetables all ready to be given out to people who will enjoy them for their supper tonight. Here's some beans, some kale, some chard, some courgette, and some onions. Thanks for coming along to our harvest assembly. We're sorry we're not with you in person, but we can still pray together. So let's bow our heads and pray a special rhyming harvest prayer. Dear God, as we think about the wheat and the tare, help us to grow like the wheat, not the tare. Help us to appreciate our food and help us to share. Amen.